And ladies and gentlemen, let's take a quick look back on how this matchup came about. Will Ospreay was pretty much the one to announce that he wanted to face Ray Fenix, who wasn't signed with GCW. The Lucha House Party had expected it was going to be one of them, but obviously Osprey wouldn't choose one of the Lucha House Party after the cowardly action at GCW Lockdown, taking down Osprey and Liger in that lockdown cage. And I think Will Osprey did an excellent choice for a Cruiserweight Championship match here tonight at Armageddon. What a dream match, Will Ospreay and Ray Fenix. Ray Fenix, one half of the Lucha Bros. Pentagon Jr. has not made his way into a GCW ring yet, but I do think he would fit in very, very well on the GCW Extreme side of things. But tonight, it is all about his brother, Ray Fenix, as he could walk out with the Cruiserweight Championship on his GCW debut match. This has only happened once in history, and that was Tyler Breeze at Halloween Havoc in 2015, beating Kofi Kingston on his debut for the Cruiserweight Championship. But for Ray Fenix to be able to do that, he has to go through our Cruiserweight Champion, Will Ospreay, who has been dominating the Cruiserweight division for years now here in GCW. Ospreay had won the Cruiserweight Championship back at GCW WrestleMania 7, lost it at GCW WrestleMania 8 to John Morrison and won it right back the next pay-per-view at Money in the Bank and he was successfully able to defend his championship against four other men in the lockdown um, Cruiserweight Championship cage match. And now tonight Osprey wanted to do some Lucha Libre and he will get just that in this ultimate dream match in the Cruiserweight weight class. Will Ospreay and Ray Fenix here tonight for the GCW Cruiserweight Championship. And here we are, ladies and gentlemen, ready to go. Osprey immediately going for the leg, but all Fenix with a nice Enzo Giri counter immediately out of the gate. Now into the ropes. Osprey, what is he doing? Oh my god! Sends Fenix flying very nicely. Now roll up. Fenix rolls through. Kick. Osprey out of the way. Chop. Fenix ducks. Kick. Osprey ducks. Poison. Rana spikes Fenix on his head. And now Fenix, oh my god, what a super kick, sending Ray Fenix to the outside. And this match started just like I expected, very, very quick pace. And now Osprey thinking to go for the Suske special, but Fenix out of the way. And what does he have in mind? Fenix goes for the moonsault into the, oh my god, German suplex onto the ramp. Ladies and gentlemen, what a bad landing for the Cruiserweight Champion. And what an amazing maneuver by Ray Fenix. And I feel like this could start haunting Will Ospreay in the match, landing on his neck there on the ramp as Fenix is thinking to go for another dive. Ospreay able to go in though, but oh my God, Fenix saw it and just hit him with a double foot stomp, taking down the Cruiserweight Champion who's now trying to get back to his senses and Fenix now going into the corner oh my god what a spin kick right to the face of Osprey and now Fenix is going to follow that up with heading to the top rope Osprey running up though Spanish fly Fenix blocks 
And now Phoenix running over the top rope and just kicking Osprey straight to the face. What athleticism by this man. As he now is taking control of the matchup, thinking Phoenix driver, Osprey counters, bl reverse bloody Sunday. Phoenix counters Tornado DDT, Osprey blocks, sending Phoenix back body drop, but Phoenix into a cutter, no! Osprey catches him midair with the super kick. Now power bomb into the destroyer. Osprey says no back into the power bomb. What awareness by the Cruiserweight Champion. Uh, countering the counter there of Ray Phoenix. And now Osprey thinking to go for the double stomp. Oh, but Phoenix out of the way. And Osprey going empty. And oh my god, what a dive by Phoenix. And what a collision here onto the floor. As that thought went through the entire building. We're sitting right next to it. Sounded awful, that landing for both of them. But now Ray Phoenix has to go after Osprey and follow up. He's sending him now onto the ring apron. And the ring apron is always a very, very dangerous place to be. But Osprey with the elbow. And oh no. I think Osprey is thinking Os Cutter onto the apron. But Phoenix jumps off top rope super attack. And Osprey falls onto the turnbuckle there. And now Phoenix. Oh, Osprey in very, very dangerous territory there, ladies and gentlemen. Phoenix going. Oh my god, I don't. I think he has something very bad in mind for the Cruiserweight Champion. He's taking top round Poison Rana, but Osprey able to land, land on his feet. And now he's gonna go for the hidden blade. Phoenix ducks. Oh my god, what a knee to the neck of Osprey, where he landed on the stage, on the ramp earlier, and now Phoenix could finish this matchup off, and I think he's thinking to go for that Mexican Destroyer, no Osprey counters, going right into the Os Cutter, no, Phoenix, hand springs out of it, and oh my god, destroys him with the super kick, right to the face, and now Phoenix got him, Phoenix got him. I think he wants to go for that rolling cutter. Rolling cutter, no! Osprey counters. Oh my God, Storm Driver spikes him. What a match, ladies and gentlemen. And Will Osprey ended it once again with that Storm Driver spiking Ray Phoenix on the top off his head. I do hope that he is okay, but this was an incredible matchup, and I would love to see Ray Phoenix back here in GCW after what was an amazing, amazing clash, fast paced clash over the Cruiserweight Championship. But again, Will Ospreay was able to retain the Cruiserweight Championship here at Armageddon.